Welcome my friends to another great video today. We're talking about Valkyries and we're talking about hogs and baby dragons at the Town Hall 10 level for the three star. So a bunch of challenges here. I'm going to walk you through what I kind of went through, all the attacks that I had against um, multiple bases, trying to figure out the strategy and work with it. A uh, very popular strategy, uh, it seems today, or some people use it. Uh, maybe not the baby dragons, but they used definitely use the Valkyries and the Hog. So these are the common bases you see. These spread out bases, Inferno Towers on opposite ends. This is a maxed out defensive base except for the Inferno Towers, uh, but still extremely difficult. Why am I using baby dragons? Baby dragons are great uh, for funneling your troops. And if there's no air defenses or archer towers towards the outside, they can really do a lot of damage uh, against the enemy uh, defenses. So on this attack, the first one here, you know, things are going well. I'm just going to speed it up. But what happens is uh, the Valkyries uh, really don't do what I wanted them to do. As you can tell with a lot of these attacks, I just quit it right there. The jump spells, and you'll find out the spell placement really made the three star in these attacks that I'll bring you. Spells are huge. You know, you think, oh, it's just a spell. I mean, I know they do work, but they really won't make the difference between a raid. False. They certainly will make the difference here. So kind of the same strategy, I liked what I did. It. This is, you know, first my first attack though is where I wanted to come in. Gonna use the Valkyrie on the north, as you can tell, to create that other funnel. And then, slowly but surely, now this time, look, if you notice, I put the jump spell on the first compartment. Let's see what happens there. See, what happens with the first one, it doesn't go so well because, see, the uh, king and queen uh, distract the Valkyries. And because they distract the Valkyries like that, the jump spell really didn't do much good on the first compartment. So as you'll find out, the second the jump spell really is going to make the difference in this third star attack. Once I get there, I'm just going to show you kind of my process. This is how you kind of go about uh, doing the friendly challenges. You want to just keep plugging away at a base until you find the perfect combination. And a lot of times it's not where you enter because you can enter on multiple sides of a base and still get a three star. Uh, so, you know, some people say, well, maybe if you entered somewhere else, you wouldn't have gotten it or you would have gotten it. But no, sometimes it doesn't matter, but other times it certainly does. So this time I'm going to come from the south and gonna see what this happens here. Now, the reason I come from the south here, there's more, a few more defensive structures on the south. So what that means is the queen is gonna be able to take out more of those defensive units, which frees up um, the rest of my troops from getting hit, of course. That's the main point of a queen walk, uh, to do as much damage as possible uh, uh, on your troops. So uh, here, though, look what I do. I let her walk a long time. If you noticed in the other videos, uh, the previous ones, replays, I didn't let her walk hardly at all. This time, I actually let her walk. Look how much defenses she's taken down. And you can let the queen walk and still get the three star at this level because Valkyries are so fast that they just rip through everything in their path. Now here, the jump spell was placed on the second Inferno, uh, but again, the main thing here is the Queen's gonna take out that Inferno Tower eventually, once she gets through with all the other units. But see, a, a failed attack there, and I bring that to you because, but now I've got the new strategy. I understand what needs to be done, and this is what I'm going to do. Here's my three-star attack coming up right here for you. As you can tell there, it just didn't go well because uh, the Valkyries did not path where I wanted them to. Uh, so let's pause it down. Uh, I first came in from the west there. That was the first, and uh, it didn't go so well uh, because I didn't really let her walk that long. Uh, but you know, and then this, uh, the last previous video I started from the south, she was able to take out those air defenses, and uh, I'm not air defenses, those archer towers, some of the cannons, and, which was a huge deal, especially going into the core there, uh, and that's the real key. So let's see um, the, what we're going to be doing here. I mean, this is a full out all attack base, very high defensive base here. So it t takes a lot of skill, but the main thing, as you'll find out very soon, let the queen walk. <laughs> that should be a phrase, that should be a motto. Let the queen walk, let the queen walk. Queen walking is huge. See, 
the reason I failed all the previous videos um, and the previous attacks before because I didn't let her walk towards the west. Now I got a game plan. Coming from the south worked. And look at that baby dragon. Why am I using that baby dragon there? Just in case the queen goes to the uh, shifts north. And she would have shifted north uh, if that baby dragon wasn't there. So I definitely used the baby dragon to her ability. I did drop a rage there. I could have used her ability, but I wanted to save her ability, and I planned that on purpose. I realized, you know what? I want to use her ability for when she encounters the Inferno Towers, or especially when the mid-attack, you know, during the middle of the battle, you need her ability to stay alive. That's when you use it. Because look, she tech takes down all the units I want her to, and I'm just patiently waiting. I'm not attacking too soon. Just going to let her walk. Let her walk. So you, you think, oh, I'm going to run out of time. I'm going to run out of time. No. With the Valkyries, they can take down these bases very quickly. And remember, I have hogs on the back end. Seven in the clan castle and six I have brewed up. So they're going to be able to really take down the back end of the base. And of course, you bring in the hogs where there's no double giant bomb. So I know exactly where I'm going to bring in the hogs, kind of to the, the north uh, west uh, area. So right now, this is when I bring in my Valkyries. As you can tell, no golem. You don't need the golem. The funnel was there. I did lose some off to the edge. Not good at all. But look at this. Here comes the raids. The jumps. Look at this. Pause it down. Spell placement is critical. I put the jump on the opposite end. Why? Because the queen's going to get the one closest to us or some of the Valkyries will push over and get it. But the main thing is that other Inferno Tower is going to be difficult to get to, so I need a jump spell there. And that's what exactly I do. Push the Rage perfectly. Of course, I have Poison going on. The king and queen are taken out. But look at this. Now that jump spell comes in the key. The Valkyries will hit the other Inferno Tower. And look, the queen with her ability, my friends, there's the ability taking down that other Inferno Tower. If I had used her ability early in the raid, I would not have had the troops, her ability to take down the Inferno Tower. Look, the hogs come in from the west. As I said, no double giant bomb possibilities there. And look, it's over. I have one heal spell left. Saving it for my uh, hogs because they're going to need it if they encounter any double giant bombs or anything like that. And there you go. I don't have cleanup troops. I don't need cleanup troops. I'm just placing a heal down there just for good sake. You know, you never know if something good. my queen could have gone down and that would have caused some serious damage. Again, I planned it out. My hogs were really the cleanup. They were going to get the third star and get all those defensive units. Anyways, that's how you do it. That's how you uh, take down a base using the Valkyrie and uh, Hog strategy with some baby dragons. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Halo out.